Hey, I'm Bob with Laguna Tools. We're in the research and development facility of Laguna Tools in Irvine, California, and our engineering department has just released a new machine for me to share with you. Okay, this new machine is a Laguna Smart Shop CF-16. CF stands for Composite Fabricator. The 16 in CF-16 means 16 feet. This particular machine has a work table that's 6 feet by 16 feet, and you'll understand why in a minute. This material is called ACM, and that stands for Aluminum Composite Material. You may hear it also called ACP, which is Aluminum Composite Panels. It's actually all around you. You may just not know it. These are panels used for building coverings. And the composite part is basically two thin skins of aluminum with plastic in the middle. And it's used to cover buildings, it's used for canopies, it, it, all types of outdoor things. It's a magnificent material. To give you a little perspective of how big this machine really is, I'm standing at the back of the 16-foot table. Now, the reason that size is significant is because the materials come in that size. They come in lengths of 16 feet. Now, think how important that is when you're trying to cover a building. If you look at what we call miter fold joints, we basically take a, a, a V-bit roughly uh, and make a slot in there. It's actually a little bit more than that. There's a radius at the bottom of that V and it makes it fold better. But that's called a miter fold. So you create the miter and you fold it. And when you have it folded, it creates a beautiful, smooth outside corner. But think about what's involved in that. What's left in the material is the hinge. And if you have too much material, you can't bend it easily. And if you don't have enough, it breaks. So that has to be very, very accurate. And that's where you start running into problems when you get into these large, large sheets. See, traditional methods uh, using flow through and fly cutting work real well on four by eight or, or a little bit bigger. But when you get a table this size, think about what happens. As the humidity changes during the day, maybe it starts raining and all of a sudden some of the material starts uh, swelling up. That changes the thickness of your hinge. And if it changes enough, it doesn't work anymore. So we have to attack this a different way. We had to develop a technology that would allow us to gauge the depth of the miter fold tool based on the surface of the material, not the surface of the table or the machine table. And we did that by creating a floating head. And I'll show you how that works. The machine has three floating heads. There's one, there's the second one, there's the third one. So now when I say floating, here's what that means. They actually can ride on the top of the material. These floating heads are individually mounted on precision guide rails, so they move up and down. They also have cylinders that control how much pressure uh, is applied. Now if we look at this, I'll bring this down where you can see it better. This is actually the shoe, and that shoe is adjustable as a micrometer so that you can ex precisely set how deep the cutter is cutting in the material. Okay, the real reason we use this is to make it easy to change tools. Let's talk about what each one of these heads is used for. One of them is used for the miter fold cutter. That's pretty obvious. The second one is used to actually cut the perimeter of the parts out, and that's what you've seen so far. Well, sometimes you also have a need to machine aluminum extrusions, and so that's what we put the third head on here for. And it, with that head, we also added a mist lubrication system, so you can machine aluminum extrusions with that if you need to. A head is placed in the active position for machining. The floating ring then collects the chips, and we use a special system to get those chips out. And here's how we do it. We basically, when this head becomes active, these other valves shut, and all the dust collection goes to this specific hose, and it does a really good job of getting those chips out. And that's really important when you're using the floating head. The composite fabricator series machines are smart shops, so they share the same engineering characteristics as smart shop machines. For instance, the base frame is an entire weldment, one, one piece weldment. And we've done that pretty much across the board on smart shops because that's where the accuracy comes from and that's where the edge finishes come from. There's no substitute. Okay, we've also used precision guide rails, of course, and helical racks so that the movement's real smooth. Now, one of the things that we just developed that, that we put in this model is the new planetary drive systems. And when you watch this thing move, it's very, very smooth and very quick. And that's because of these planetary drives that are in here. That is so smooth. Now, this machine also has our new gantry design, and let me tell you a little bit about it. First off, it's structural steel. Uh, it's heavily reinforced. Uh, if you'll notice, the spacing on the guide rails is, is very wide to give you more support. And it rests on top of two weldments, this weldment and one on the other side. And those weldments have the planetary drives mounted inside. So if you think about this, the frame is actually four components. 
The whole base is one component, the gantry is a component, and then you have two side supports. So the, the fr frame only really has four parts. The x-axis movement on the machine is controlled by a helical rack and a planetary drive system. Z is controlled by a direct drive precision ball screw. You know, as I look back, one of the most significant developments in our Smart Shop product line has really been the machine controller. Uh, within the product development group at Laguna CNC, we've probably got 50 years of total experience for virtually every brand of control you can imagine. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to make a machine that had the control, had the features that you'd expect with a full feature control, but easy enough to operate that someone you hire off the street can, in, a, in, a, in an hour or two can learn how to use it. And that's, that became the BNR Laguna controller. If you can use a touch screen, a cell phone, and a TV remote control, you can probably figure this controller out. The machine control has a USB port, so you can transfer files that way if you'd like. Uh, it also has a network connection, so uh, what we do typically is just to hook it up to the network and then I can transfer files back and forth from the office. That's the best way to set it up. Okay, now let's, uh, let's get into business here. Let's actually make a part or a series of parts. Okay, so I have the vacuum table configured. All right, I have a piece of MDF on here, which we fly cut. Fly cut, you just cut the surface off. And so vacuum is going to pull through that and hold the sheet down. Then we'll, cut, we'll just cut a typical nest of the kind of parts that you would make from ACM. I've got the program loaded on the machine. Now, let's preview it to see if I loaded the correct program. So we'll hit preview program, and it shows us graphically on the screen. That's what I thought. I'll dismiss that. Now I'll go to the run. I'll turn on the vacuum and hit cycle start. Let's take a look at this. Let's get this out of our nest. All right, now, if you notice, um, we cut it with the covering still on. Let's peel that off. Oh my goodness, that looks good. <laughs> you can see why they use this for billing materials. Look at how beautiful that finish is. And of course, it's protected. Also, look at how precise, look at how nice that edge is. That's unbelievable. When you peel that off, wow. That's why you use a floating head. You know, I always get asked a question after these videos is how fast did you cut that? The machining on this panel was done at 500 inches a minute at 18,000 RPMs. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. We, it's always exciting when we have a new machine to show people. Uh, we were able to get engineering to allow us to do this a little bit early, so that's why we came over to the R&D Center. If you have any questions about any Laguna CNC or specifically the Composite Fabricator CF16, call us at Laguna Tools at 800-234-1976 or you can find us on the internet at lagunatools.com. Thank you for watching.